Hematological disorders for medical students. We will discuss anemias in the following lectures. Anemia is one of the hematological disorders, and we will start our lecture today by discussing iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia. Before we discuss uh, iron deficiency anemia, we have to know what is anemia, definition of anemia. You should know precisely the definition of anemia. And to how to diagnose anemia, clinical diagnosis of anemia, and how to confirm your diagnosis by laboratory diagnosis. Your clinical diagnosis is suspicious for anemia. Your laboratory diagnosis is confirmatory for the anemia and the type of anemia. Uh, in uh, this lecture, we will uh, illustrate the different types of anemias, what's called classification of anemias, classification of anemias. And we will know the uh, mechanisms, compensatory mechanisms uh, of hy uh, hypoxia resulting from hypoxia that lead to the clinical features of anemia. In our lecture, we will give a brief description brief description of different types of anemia and uh, it will be described in this lecture but it's not enough for you for uh, for your learning you have to search for more in hematology textbooks hematology is a study of diseases of blood and blood cells uh, as you uh, discussed in the physiology blood cells Blood cells, either uh, are red blood cells, or white blood cells, or platelets, very small components, it's called platelets. So we have white blood cells, different white blood cells, like basophil, eosinophil, neutrophil, macrophage, lymphocytes, and we have uh, very small fragments called platelets, as you can see here, platelets, and we have huge number of the red blood cells in the blood vessels. Uh, red blood cell, and the red blood cell, we should know the red blood cell count. Red blood cell count, or RBCs count, differs from uh, male to female because of the six the sex of the, of the, the, in the meal, there is uh, an uh, androgenic hormones, testosterone, which is stimulating for the bone marrow to produce more red blood cells. So we can notice here the range of the uh, red blood cells in male is 5 million, while in female is 4.3 million, plus minus uh, uh, 0.5 million per microliter. Hemoglobin, inside the red blood cell, we can see hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein which is responsible for the transportation of the gases, especially the heme part or the iron, which constitute the major part of the heme responsible for transportation of the gases. Hemoglobin also is different in male from female because of the stimulating effect of the androgenic hormones on the bone marrow. You can see here that the hemoglobin is formed by heme. We mentioned that the iron uh, constitutes the predominant or the major part of the heme and the globin amino acids. We have uh, four globin chains. You can see here four globin chains. And four heme, and four heme consists of iron atoms. You can see the iron atom inside the heme. Back cell volume or hematocrit, back cell volume or uh, hematocrit. When we centrifuge the blood, the blood is taken in the tube, anticoagulated tube with anticoagulant and uh, we will put the tube in a centrifuge centrifugation will separate the red blood cell all the red blood cell down while the plasma up 
and the white blood cells and the platelet in the puffy coat in the middle. So the length of the column of the red blood cells, you can see here red blood cells, the length of the column of the red blood cells constitute what's called BCV or hematocrit, which is a centrifuge red blood cell deposited in the sediment or in the bottom of the tube. Also different from male, from uh, female because of the hormonal changes, male and female. Mean cell volume, mean cell volume MCV, is one of the important red blood cell indices. Indices. We will uh, start our red blood cell indices by MCV, mean cell volume. You can see here we can see very small. Uh, red blood cells, what's called microcyte, and we can see a very large red blood cell, which is called macrocyte. And in between the small and the large, we have normal uh, cytic red blood cells, normal or normal cytic red blood cells in the volume. So you can notice the difference in the volume. We have a range, the range of the mean cell volume from 83 to 101 femtoliter. It differs from uh, one text to another. Another uh, red blood cell indices, which is called uh, mean cell hemoglobin or MCH. Uh, MCH uh, represents the concentration of hemoglobin inside the red blood cells. You can see here the concentration of the hemoglobin is very low, what's called the hypochromic red blood cells. And here the concentration of the hemoglobin inside the red blood cells is very high, what's called the hyperchromic decrease in the color, here decrease in the color of the red blood cells, while uh, in between we can see the normal chromic red blood cells, normal chromic red blood cells. So uh, variation in the color uh, because of the variation of the concentration of hemoglobin inside the red blood cells, what's called mean cell hemoglobin. The mean cell hemoglobin concentration means the hemoglobin inside the packed cell volume. So if we uh, take the blood and uh, centrifuge the blood in the centrifuge, we will notice the packed cell volume or hematocrit. Uh, we calculate the hemoglobin in relation to the hematocrit or packed cell volume. It will be MCH or mean hemoglobin concentration. Uh, mean hemoglobin concentration uh, and the mean uh, cell hemoglobin concentration are similar to each other. So both of them, MCH and MCHC, very similar to each other uh, for detecting the hemoglobin, hemoglobinization of the red blood cells. Also, uh, reticulocyte count. Reticulocyte count is one of immature red blood cells. One of the mature blood cells, it is present in the peripheral blood by percentage not more than 2.5%. Uh, it is an indicator of the bone marrow activity uh, and the function of the bone marrow. So if it is more than 2.5%, it means that increasing in the activity of the bone marrow. You can see here the reticulocyte, this is a, a cell with bluish discoloration in the center, what's called the remnant of the RNA because it's not uh, not fully mature, it is immature. It is the latest stages of immature red blood cells. Uh, if it is more than 2.5, it means that increasing in the activity of the bone marrow and increasing the productivity of the marrow, which occur in certain types of anemia, like hemolytic anemia. In hemolytic anemia, there is a peripheral destruction of the red blood cells, leading to stimulation of the bone marrow to uh, uh, increase the production to compensate for the peripheral destruction. While if we find the percentage of the reticulocyte in the peripheral blood is 0%, it means that the bone marrow is inactive, no production. So it is a failure, bone marrow failure, which occur in uh, another type of anemia. It's called aplastic anemia. So the normal red blood cells is uh, normocytic, normochromic. Normocytic means that normal volume. And from the peripheral blood smear, we can see here, this is the normocytic red blood cells. How can we know that this is a normocytic red blood cells? By comparing it with a mature small lymphocyte. If we find that the uh, red blood cells is similar to the uh, mature small lymphocytes in volume, it means that it is normocytic. And how uh, we know that it is normochromic, normochromic, a normal coloration. You can see here the red blood cells also. Uh, there is a 
central part called central pallor white part in the center and there is a reddish part in the periphery the rich part represent the hemoglobinization so if we can uh, say that the central pallor is one third of the uh, replaces and the hemoglobinization is two thirds of the uh, replaces it is normal chromic replaces and the normal replaces is normal chromic so normal replacel has normal red blood cell in this MCV, MCH, and MCHC. Under the light, micro, uh, light microscope, uh, as we mentioned, there is a circle central pallor. Circle central pallor in the center. You can see here, this is the central pallor, which I try to indicate it with the cursor. It, is, it represents the about one third of diameter of the so you can compare between the central pallor and the hemoglobin in the periphery represent one third so it is normal chromic as we mentioned and uh, normal cytic by comparing it with the small lymphocyte as we mentioned uh, in the cell counter we by uh, detecting the mcv and mch and mchc uh, the values of this red particle indices will be within the normal range so it will be normal cytic normal chromic